Okay, continuation of the four major analysis for the 8th of October 2010. I'm just looking at the US dollar chief next. Hi guys, it's Christian from Student Education. And I just want to have a look at the daily time frame to see what's happening. Um, we saw yesterday with that news that came out on the unemployment figures being good. Uh, we saw the US dollar rally against the Swiss franc yesterday and literally bullish engulfing closed entire day so we could see a possible uh, upside movement today it could be in the charts you'll notice that we had a previous swing to the downside and we're testing that now so a break above this trend line here yeah, would see a possible uh, retest or um, consolidation and, um, and another retry of the 975 area so a break above here guys would confirm more upside movement so we could see there again, I've mentioned on the so if we have un, uh, non farm payroll figures are good for the US, then we could see it rise today. If they're negative, then we could see it fall. Um, and this pair here definitely needs to see some sort of consolidation because we are trading very low. Um, the US dollar has really been taking a hit, um, not just both in the Japanese yen, but also in the Swiss franc. And you can see that after breaking a previous support that we saw back in November of last year. We've seen a fall even subsequent, you know, another, uh, what, 300 pips since then. So a very, very, very strong fall to the downside. We're trading way below low. So any, any indication where the US can actually gain some ground against both these pairs would be quite gratifying for, the, for, for it. Uh, intraday, what are we seeing at the moment? Well, you can see that the four hour is still being um, dictated. Well, the 50 period moving average is really taken over now as resistance um, on a smaller time frames of 30 minutes you can see it's testing the 200 period moving average now as we speak a break above that ideally we want to see a break above the previous high in this case over here anything above um, the 970 would give us that so a break above that would definitely confirm a chance to see some more upside movement and we would let, then look at possibly uh, this 974 uh, 978 etc to the upside being retested um, as, as we stand now we're testing a this would be the previous support so a break of a 970 would, would give us that opportunity to see a possible test of these uh, areas going forward so I'll just put them in so you can see them and then ultimately the test of 984.984 would be a uh, real benefit so we need to see the CTC giving us that signal. So we have blue across the board here, which confirms uh, five minute confirmation and 15 minute conf uh, sorry, 15 minute confirmation and 30 minute confirmation. However, we still have this 200 period moving average is testing now 30 minute time frame. We need to break above that. Okay, it's broken above a previous intraday high. Okay, for that time frame, but it needs to break higher, close higher than here. Uh, daily, close higher than nine. Uh, 0.9700 to give us that uh, indication that we're going to see more long or upside movement for this pair today and then we can capitalize on that okay so be aware of the non-farm payroll figures out this afternoon uh, GMT uh, factor that into your trading today myself and Nick we don't trade non-farm payroll purely because we get all this erraticness that happens uh, before and after we rather let the market decide what it wants to, to do with the, the news and then we just trade it come Monday we'll just we'll get back on it and, and we'll trade the direction hey guys that's pretty much it for the US dollar against Swiss franc um, I'll be back next with the US dollar Japanese yen I'll see you in a couple of minutes take care